Hey loves, it's your girl B, and I'm back with my first video of 2013. So as you can see from the background, this is new. This is like my first video that I'm filming in the studio. Um, but right now I'm by the windows. So I have all this gorgeous natural light coming in and I'm really excited to film more videos for you guys this year. So this first video, cause I'm actually filming two for you today. It's going to be a product review of three products that I found at the very, very end of 2012 and I am absolutely in love with them. When I say in love, I mean like, it's as if these cosmetic company knows my soul and they create products that speaks to it. So, the first two products that I'm gonna talk about actually came in the kit and they're from L'Oreal. And anybody who has used L'Oreal knows that for years L'Oreal has been making amazing, amazing products. I mean, look at L'Oreal Hip. Everybody and their mom uses L'Oreal Hip. The mascaras that they use, I haven't really used them until this past year in 2012, but I am actually very, very, very impressed. So I was in Ulta, this was on sale. I couldn't help it. Comes in nice packaging, so hmm, I was attracted to it. This is their uh, False Fiber Lashes Kit. And what it came with was the L'Oreal False Lashes Mascara, which comes in this shiny gold packaging. Yes, I know, I'm such a little kid, such a little kid. But I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised by this mascara. I got it home, the brush. I was a little skeptical about this brush. I haven't really seen one shaped like this before. And lately, the mascara that I have been using is Sephora brand, and it has like one of those um, rubber wands that really, really does get every single lash. But this one, I was very, very excited to try it, and I must say that the results were dramatic and fabulous. Also in this kit was the um, Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner, which is a intense kajal, which as some of you may or may not know is an Arabic inspired um, eyeliner. So this is their version of the Kajal eyeliner. It is very intense. It is very, very pigmented. It's very black. It goes on smooth, creamy, no tugging. If you catch it in like the first 10 seconds when you put it on, you can easily smudge this. I'm actually wearing it now on my eye. Um, I do have on a kind of like a brightening on my inner waterline, but around it, I do have on this Kajal, and I love it, it's so smooth, so creamy. I can get in the inner corner without like tickling. Um, and then this comes with a nice pencil sharpener that I need to actually get out of this packaging. So that is a plus. I actually didn't do my lashes yet because I wanted to do it on camera. So I'm actually gonna do my lashes right now, just so you guys can see. So I have my little compact here. And I like to wiggle at the base and then pull out and just pull my lashes out. I will say this, I do like this mascara. If you overuse it, like put a lot on, I did notice that you may or may not get clumping, but if you use it and then like run like a metal lash comb through it, you'll be fine. You'll be totally, totally fine. Now for the other eye. So I have to say that I really do like this. Um, I think it will be something that I will add to my professional kit. I will actually, I have a second one, and I'll be using both items out tonight at a photo shoot because just because a mascara is fabulous out the packaging, remember, mascaras come with specially special formulas, they come with special brushes that go with that formula. The true test of how good a mascara is, is how well it is when you use it with like a disposable spoolie. If it can pull the lashes out, if it can give you that same definition, then you definitely have a winner. So we are going to see if this is a winner. Um, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, at B Wilson Beauty, I will be sure to post photos tonight and let everyone know. And the third item and final, and I'm always gonna save the best for last, my favorite, 
oh my gosh i absolutely i don't know what took me so long to find this product but it's amazing this is revlon's lip butter yes it is truly a lip butter i'm actually wearing it right now i just have on a little bit of um max cork pencil just to outline and then i have this on it is so smooth so sheer so absolutely creamy is the sun picking that up yes it is Mm hmm this is one of the most gorgeous gorgeous colors it's in the color creme brulee 095 for those of you who are wondering and i'm going to have information posted on my blog but this wears better than any chapstick better than any blistex better than any eos egg like i absolutely love it and it just gives you that hint of color that little bit of hint of color and shine it's 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 exactly what you need for a muted, natural, come here and kiss me lip. Love it. Like, mm, I love it. I love the tones. I thought it was going to go on a little bit darker than this, but it actually didn't. Um, I tried this one color out, but I will definitely be purchasing probably all of them probably all of them i know that these are on special on um, drugstore.com i know they're buy one get one half off on drugstore.com right now so if you haven't gotten them get them yes so that is my review of my three new favorite personal products uh-huh 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 will they be going in my person in my professional kit only time will tell so as far as these two items are concerned, I will be using them tonight. So I will have a definite answer by tomorrow morning. So again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, rate, comment. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Beauty. Thanks. Bye-bye.